all dressed up. Got my badge on. Finished the conference now, back at the airport, Charles de Gaulle in Paris, just catching up with some work. I've uh, got quite a while to wait till my, my um, coach leaves uh, from the other terminal. So I'm just here now doing some work on the computer and catching up on emails and projecting. Kind of nice little spot, that's good. And as long as my battery lasts, then uh, I can do some quite a bit more work. It's half past nine now. So I'm going to head to Terminal 3, ready to catch my coach at 11. I have to take a little shuttle there. Terminal 3, um, coach station. I think I found where my bus should go from when it arrives. I've got about 45 minutes to wait still. Quite a nice night though. This is my bus, London. Due to arrive at 11 o'clock and then goes through to Calais, catches the ferry, and arrive back in London about half past six tomorrow morning. I've just found the Ibis Hotel, which has a bit of people checking in, and some vending machines, and a couple of restaurants as well, right next to the bus stop, which looks a little bit Nice and sitting outside, looks a bit dodgy. I'm gonna sit here for half an hour until my bus arrives. Right now I'm reading Achieve the Impossible, written by Greg White, who I've been training with. One of my missions on this journey back, 22 hours or so, is to try and finish reading his book, uh, which is all about how to get success in sport, um, as well as how life and work as well. I've just started it, so plenty of time to read it now, hopefully on the bus, uh, as long as I don't fall asleep. It's now half a cent at night, but I'm really nervous about missing the bus back to London, so I decided to come a little bit earlier to the stands for me to wait for the bus. Probably got about a half an hour to wait, but I think it's better to be here than not be here. I don't want to miss that bus back to London. And right now I'm munching on some Lay's Savour Favour barbecue crisps, just to keep me going. It's just gonna be a long journey back. I actually don't eat crisps very often. That was a bit of a shocker. I think I've had a few too many. At least it'll keep me going. Now course to 11, and I'm just on Twitter making plans to eat some friends for breakfast when I get to London. I think this might be my bus. But I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> Let's see. Not my bus. Now the bus is due. Hopefully it'll be here soon. Now that's my bus. Laundress. Right now we're just going to custom in Calais. Second control done. Right now we're just waiting to board the boat. It's been a while, getting quite bored now. You don't get a lot of information when you book a uh, coach trip. And I just assumed that we'd be travelling back up by sea because that's how we came. But I just realised that I think we're actually catching the train, which goes under the English Channel. So that's probably why we're waiting here. <laughs> it's a bit of a mystery tour. But it's a gorgeous night, a bit chilly. The moon's really, really pretty. Just having a wander around because I'm bored. I'm going to go see and buy some chocolate. Here's the machine, and I've just invested in a Twix Extra. So is the excitement of my journey. Just arrived back at London Victoria, feeling pretty uh, rough, pretty tired, and uh, gonna go and meet some friends for breakfast. Definitely falling asleep now. Just had a business meeting uh, over breakfast, which was very nice, they're over in the hotel. 
and uh, waiting for my second meeting. I'm struggling to keep my eyes open now. o'clock just arrived back in Kendall. I'm gonna, going to go and uh, grab some food to get back with me because uh, it's quite late and I'm starving after my epic journey back from Paris. I'm gonna go and see the kittens and I can't wait.